Tired of dealing with annoying flies, fruit flies, and gnats in your home? The Zevo Flying Insect Trap is your ultimate solution. Don't wait. Check out the link in the video description now to get your Zevo Flying Insect Trap on Amazon and enjoy a bug-free home today. Dr. Ronnie Jackson rushed to Bedminster, New Jersey to visit with Donald Trump after the assassination attempt Saturday. Now, he reports that his ear wound continues to bleed but should heal properly. The Texas lawmaker tells DailyMail.com that Trump's injury continues to bleed from time to time and requires a bandage that the former president might still be wearing for a few days even as the Republican convention gets underway. Jackson, who served as the White House physician during the Trump years, said he flew down to the president's golf course to visit with Trump following Saturday's horrific shooting. I just came up because we're friends. I wanted to be there, he told DailyMail.com. We just hung out. He spent time with Trump in a personal capacity, but that didn't keep him from making a full assessment of his injury and his state of mind after an incident that could easily have ended his life. Now Trump and Jackson are both in Milwaukee. Jackson revealed that Trump's ear continues to bleed off and on, in part because so much blood flows to the ear. He says the wound will be dressed for at least a couple more days. He took the piece of his ear off the top, you know, your ear bleeds like crazy. But he's fine. Because luckily, it was just his ear, he said inside the Fiserv Center, hours before the convention will be gavel in. Trump did not opt to get stitches, he shared. No, he didn't sew it up, because it wasn't really amenable to being sewn, because it was a bullet. So it was more like a track you know. So they just basically have to kind of, you know, let it heal in, said the Texan, who has become a Trump surrogate and a harsh critic of President Joe Biden. It's going to look okay once it fills in and everything I think, he predicted. Trump's use of the bandage is more a function of the ear itself than the seriousness of the wound, he said, even though a matter of a tiny distance would have made for a catastrophic injury. He'd probably keep the bandage in place because it's also real pliable and it bleeds real easy. The ear is just very vascular, and if you irritate it a little bit, then it just starts bleeding again. So when it bleeds, it gets all over everything. So he's got a dressing on it right now. Because he's been bleeding so yeah. He indicated it would stay on for a couple of days. Jackson also commented on Trump's state of mind. He's great. The staff's a little shaken still. But he's completely normal, he said. I mean, he's just himself. He's joking around and talking about how if he hadn't turned his head, you know, right at that second it would have gone right through his brain and he realizes, you know, the gravity of it, but he's not at all flustered by it. Trump said he plans to rewrite his convention speech, and both Trump and President Joe Biden are calling for unity, Biden in an appeal from the Oval Office. That does not mean Jackson plans to back off on his slams on what he calls Biden's cognitive issues one bit. Asked what he'll speak about, he said, probably Biden's cognitive stuff. Seems to be my lane, he quipped. He said the call to unity was fine, but we're not, we can't ignore the fact that we have a president doesn't need to be president, you know, he said. I haven't rewritten my speech, 